Hello YouTube, in this video we will be going over the new PvP add-ons for Awakening Musa. I will be covering open world add-ons as well as capped nodal add-ons. Let's get into it. To start off, we are going to look into Stub Arrow actually. Before the add-on update, it was typical to use 6 Awakening skill add-ons, but now I strongly believe that Stub Arrow is actually very good. This is because it offers tier 3 add-ons with at least 20 seconds of duration. Now I am going to use an Accuracy and Movement Speed add-on. Plain and simple, shoot an arrow at any target and we're buffed for 20 seconds. You can pick and choose other buffs as there are many choices. Searing Slam, since we spammed this ability onto players, I decided to add extra attack and movement speed debuffs. For Pyrostorm, I put on a plus 15 human damage buff and attack speed buff. They both last for 12 seconds, giving us a long duration buff for trade damage or combos. For Dash Slash, we stack DP and evasion debuffs as usual. This makes a very important ability to be used during a startup combo to remove as much tankiness from your opponent as possible. Flow, backflow, can be changed around as you see fit. I personally will run plus 20 DP and a 5% crit boost on it until I think of something better. And lastly, we go with Eradicate, our accuracy buff ability. We stack its base 9% accuracy buff with the 5% add-on and a crit buff to maintain high damage. As mentioned in my previous videos, capped nodors are all about stacking debuffs, bleeds, and just overall buffing yourself. Since your playstyle on nodors will be more 1vx and group based, you should reflect that gameplay. These are the add-ons that I will be using. Keep it short, I put some attack and movement speed debuffs on, a few attack and movement speed buffs for myself to make myself faster. Movement speed is highly recommended as it lets us cover more distance. Some down, back, and crit attack boosts are put on so that our overall damage during combos increases. And of course we put on some bleeds during our super armor trade abilities to debuff as many players as possible. That's about it for Cap Node Wars. This add-on update has made add-ons more personalized than ever. You can choose various combinations now, so I highly recommend to spend some time looking through them. The downside to this update is that many classes will probably have some giga slow debuffs to put on to us Musa players, which we won't be having fun with. Thanks for watching and leave a like if you found this helpful. See you in the next one.